Welcome back, guys, to some more Gothic 3. So, last left off, we need to talk to this guy, Jens. And we also need to go over to Cape Dunn, do some exploration there. That's the first town that we encountered aside from Ardea, which we liberated. So we get to see how the orcs are ruling Mertana. But first, we actually have to go back to Reddit because I decided I'm going to go ahead and spend some learning points. We got 60. I think we're going to learn smithing skills. If we can, we need to learn how to... Uh, we need to raise smithing first, and then I think I'll put into strength. So let's do that. And yeah, welcome back. I'm ready to play more of this game. We'll close this. I don't think we need any more tips, do we? Off we go. Alright, let's go see the blacksmith real quick. Gorn is still here. I guess he's going to join the rebels, which... I guess it makes sense. You think he uh, joined the orc mercenaries. I guess he just doesn't like orcs that much. Alright, let's just go down here. Because we got quite a lot to do. Because we have not even scratched the surface of this game. This is a very long game. I just checked howlongtobeat.com. If you want to do a completionist playthrough, it'll take 119 hours if I remember correctly. And we're not going to do that. Main quest 45 and 49 or 60 or something like that for mains and sides. But overall, if it's fun, I'll do it. Let's talk to our blacksmith here that we were freed the other day. Teach me something about being a smith. All right, so, uh, wait, do we have enough gold? Let's go back. How much gold do we have? 4,492 gold, hmm. So let's go ahead and raise smithing up a little bit, I guess. 25. Teach me something. So that's 16. That's the way. 21. Carry on like that. And we'll do four more. Carry on like that's that that. Okay, that's that. Which leaves us with 3,700. We got 25 smithing. Teach. I've decided not to learn hunting skills yet. It doesn't seem to be very helpful. I hope. Okay, we can't. We can do this, but we don't need to right now. We can learn how to mine, I think. Let me check. Because these have prereqs. Forging ore weapons requires 25 smith. And, oh. Okay. Um, these don't require smithing skills. You just need to uh, learn it. Oh, shoot. Oh, too late now. Well, not too late. We're just going to deal with it. Let's learn how to sharpen. How do I sharpen my blade? Go to the whetstone and let it rip. Slowly draw the blade from left. Nice <clears throat> and sharp. Excuse me. I'm glad they still have. I'm just glad they still tell you how to do a skill like in the previous two games. Still immersive in that department, but either way, now we know how to home blades. And what that does is this is plus 10 to blade damage. Pretty cool. Not like that. And we can only do it one at a time um, for one weapon each. Just do that. Okay, let's go learn strength. I think Javier can cheat just can he? Can he? I don't know. Me think. No, it's Norris, right? Not Chuck Norris, just just Norris. Gothic three Norris. Would you teach me how to fight? All right. Um. Guess all those. That's the way. Okay. Good. Good. Fifteen. Good. Twenty. Requires a little bit of gold. That's okay. We got one twenty-three. Twenty-one points left. And we got uh, seventeen hundred gold. I think that's it because I think we're gonna stick with one-handed swords. I don't remember being. I don't remember large weapons being that good in this game, so we might skip out on that, but like I said in the last part, you get so many learning points in this game that you'll eventually learn pretty much almost everything. Um, for alchemy, uh, I'll wait till later to mention that. I don't want to spoil this entire thing, but yeah, we'll stick with one-handed, and I think we're going to get a shield eventually too, which requires hunting skill too for... I was going to say for some reason, but hunting skill is also... That's your dex, basically, so that makes sense. Uh, shields are awesome. I never played a shield in this game, so I think we'd go for a shield. 
Let's go ahead and learn one more point in strength. Norris. Would you teach me how to fight? Carry on like that. There we go. Well, save the rest later. We need 25 more points. Or, excuse me, 26 more points for the next uh, tier here. I don't like calling it that, but there you go, the next skill. And this one you actually don't, you don't want Master from what I read because that knocks down enemies. And if I remember what I read, that was just days ago, that they can get back up and cheap shot you, so I guess just this, I don't know, I gotta read up on that again. You can also dual wield too, we probably won't do that because I'm not a huge fan of dual wielding that much. So let's save. We're gonna keep this save here as my, uh, just in case something happens to this Let's Play or something like that, I can go back and redo the recording. All right, let's go back to Cape Dunn and I will see you there. All right, we're here kind of, and there's some wolves. Let's fight them. How about you? That was close, because I think they still stun lock you. Let's take their meat. Let's go to where Jens is. He's just right over here. At this hut here. This nice little hut. Well, it's not nice, but, you know. I imagine this guy teaches hunting skills, because he looks like a hunter. He's got, you know, hides here and such. Let's go and save. Alright, hello there. There aren't many travelers now that the orcs are here. Have you lost your way, or are you headed for the village? What village? So you lost your way after all. If you keep following the path to the coast, you'll get to Cape Dunn. And what will I find there? Same thing you find everywhere these days. Orcs and mercenaries. Maybe you'll find work there if you're lucky. I don't know why I chose that. I knew that was Cape Dunn. Whatever. Let's go ask him this. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter, but times are tough. Too many wolves and not enough game. Luckily, the orcs gave me a really good price for wolf skins. There you go. He's a hunter. What I say? Show me your goods. Okay, he's got some trophies here. He's got bows. He's also got the Nimrod bow from back in Reddick, the other guy. And that's it. Let's talk to him again. Could you teach me how to hunt? Of course I could. But what's in it for me? What do you need? Bring me ten wolf skins that I can sell. The Yorks in Cape Dunn have plenty, and then I'll show you how to hunt. All right, gotta get in some pelts. Let's uh, open this real quick. Cape Dunn, that's not Cape Dunn, this is Cape Dunn. Ten wolf skins. The Yorks in Cape Dunn have plenty, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, okay, let's go. Over here, so the quest in this game, like I mentioned in the last part, there's more of, it's more MMO-like. So you know in um, Gothic 1 and 2, there's an emphasis on questing rather than fetching. I'll mention that in a bit, actually. Let's talk to these people here. We've got some slaves. Silas. Oh, a new face. I'm a mercenary. My name is Silas. I am... Another poor devil just trying to get by. I know what it's like. It's the same with all of us. Report to Buford. Maybe he's got some work for you. If I'm lucky, you'll get my job. If he's lucky... Who is Buford? He's the boss here. At least of us mercenaries. So, if you aren't exactly an orc and belong to Yurik, he's your only chance to get a foot in the door here. You'll find him at the end of the main street. He's usually standing outside his hut. What are you doing here? I have to watch these slaves. One of them ran off not too long ago. Since then, we can't leave the slaves unguarded for a moment. What's in the city? City? Cape Dunn may be a lot of things, but it sure isn't a city. There isn't even a decent bar here. But at least there's work to be had. You'll be all right. All right. Let's go ahead and save and make another one too. Uh, I guess right here. So, questing, you're always fetching something, I know that, like, you have to go get something, you have to find somebody. But Gothic 1 and 2 focused more on the questing aspect. 
and this game more fetching from what I remember. Like the healing plants back there in Reddick. You gotta get 10 of those, and that's one example. There's a wolf over there. We'll leave them alone. There's also a shrine over there. On second thought, let's try to fight them. I want to see what that shrine... I think that's a shrine of Beliar. Hello, wolves. I have a half you. Take that. I can... It's better to use a bow against these things. But I don't want to waste the arrows. And I think we could have taken them out. I tested another recording before playing this, and... One of the wolves stunlocked me. Killed me really quickly. It's really annoying. Let's grab these. Just in case we need to make some more healing potions. And there we are. We got some skeletons here. That's... That's a little creepy. Beliar. Yep, that's Beliar. And he can give you... The same as Enos, I guess? It's the same stuff here. We'll leave him alone. Leave the shrine alone. Let's go back to Cape Dunn real quick. Grab the sun weed. It's getting to be evening time right now. Okay, we gotta go to Port. Got the. I got to go report to Buford. Grobach. Let's talk to him. What is it now, Mora? What is it now? I just started talking to you. What's your job in this town? Town. Cape Dunn is a filthy backwater slum. I would rather join my brothers outside Vengard, the capital of your marionette king, than guard this place here. Marionette king, he says. Is there anything you need? Oh yes. I need peace and quiet in this town, so don't you start any trouble. Stay away from things that aren't yours, and don't beat anyone up unless we say you can. I hope you get my drift, Mora. Certainly. Alright, that's all he has to say. That's a warrior here. You've still got things to do. Now, I'm sure of that. I do, actually, but now, Ardea, you know, instead of putting us into battle, it'd be cool if we can just explore the town of Ardea, like we're doing here now, you know? It's just so, just so weird having pop-ups, tutorial pop-ups pop up when there's combat going on around you, but we're past that point now. Let's move on. Talk to this guy. Hey, you. You look like you could use a few extra pieces of gold. Who are you? A Hashishin, a servant of Beliar. I come from the south, from beyond your borders. I have come to your country to offer the orcs my services as a slave hunter. You're enslaving humans for the orcs? It's a job like any other. Just recently, I even sold the orcs a real paladin. Really? You sold a paladin to the orcs? He's up in the lighthouse. The orcs are interrogating him. He fetched a decent price here, but his equipment was worthless. Some broken armor, a worthless chalice, and a few odds and ends. What do you expect me to do in return for your gold? One of my slaves has escaped. Harek, that mangy mutt. I can't leave here, and I need someone to go and catch him for me. What about you? You don't look like you're the squeamish sort. Oh, we can say well, I will not hunt people, but... Hmm. Let's ask this first. What became of the captured paladin's equipment? It's with Urkras. He gave me a measly 50 gold coins for it. That's not a whole lot. But we can catch the guy for him, but I guess we will, because we're kind of... I think we're going to join the mercenaries in this... Not, not think. I am going to join the mercenaries in this playthrough, because the last time I played this, I joined the rebels. So let's do something different, right? I will catch Herrick for you. Where is he? If I knew that, I would have brought him back, wouldn't I? He's probably still in the vicinity. Someone may have seen him outside of town. A slave hunter's life seems to have its merits. Help me, and I might tell you more about it. All right. Because the orcs have slaves, so my reasoning is that if we join the mercenaries, we can find a way to Zardas much easier. Who definitely has ulterior motives. You remember back in the last game, at the very end, he told us he's not a servant of Beliar any more than we serve Enos, so he definitely has something in store under his sleeve, which I won't spoil. We're not going this way. 
don't know where I'm going. When I talk, I get so sidetracked, it's it's crazy. Let's go over here and talk to this pig. Very nice. I'm busy. You guys look busy. You should go now. Okay. So we can't fight anybody here. We can't steal anything. Go into houses that aren't ours. There's a water barrel here. Let's drink. There's a long journey over to Cape Dunn. Well, not really. It's like not very far from Reddick or even Ardea. Ardea. Anybody in here? We got a tent here. That's probably the Hashishan's tent. Not probably. It is the Hashishan's tent. I say probably a lot, even though I know for sure something is that thing. I have never seen you around here. What do you want? What are you doing here? I am the town alchemist, and I'm very busy. Ah, oh, an alchemist. Sell me your potions. Do I look like I would sell my goods to just anyone? You will have to do something for that master of audacity. Oh. Alright. What do you want? I need a bag of ingredients for my work. Fetch me a dozen healing plants, and maybe we can get into business. Yeah, what did I say about uh, fetch questing earlier? Where can I find healing plants? Look up by the lighthouse. I saw some there yesterday. And he wants 12. Here are the healing plants you asked for. Yes, and I can really use them. There we go. So you're seeing the gist of the questing in this game. Quests like that to raise your reputation with each town. And each uh, faction or whatever. Teach me something about alchemy. So you don't need to learn alchemy. I'll, I guess I'll mention it now. You can get all the alchemy points just from reading books. Leave that alone. And yeah, alchemy is right here. We got three more to make mana potions, which we probably don't need. Permanent potions require 40. Transformation potions we won't use. Poison might be nice. To mess with. Poison Blade. And for magic here, this is actually nice to have from what I read. Additional learning point per level. I don't know if it's retroactive. It's probably it probably isn't. Let's go ahead and save. We're gonna talk to everybody here. Behave yourself in this city, newcomer, or else you'll wind up feeding the fish. Whose house is this? Yurik lives here. He is the boss of the city. Don't get any ideas about going through this door without permission, understand? No, we do not know if we can trust you. Yeah, we need higher higher rep in Cape Dunn. This is actually a nice town. I remember this from back when I played it. And everywhere else I'm kind of blurry on it. Well here's Buford. You're new here, aren't you? Did you come to work for the orcs? Are you in charge here? Yes, but only over the mercenaries. The orcs are the masters of the city. But it's not so bad living as a mercenary for the orcs. What about you? I can use a strong fellow like you. What if I wanted to join the mercenaries? Right. Listen, your reputation is your hardest currency with the orcs. An orc sits at the top of every city in the kingdom. Here in Cape Dunn, that's Yurik. If you can get the orcs to let you talk to the top orc, you've got it made. The alchemist is very happy with you. Not bad. All right. What have you got for me to do? There are a lot of hungry wolves roaming around outside the city. Now and then, they like to eat a couple of slaves. This makes the orcs angry. Find the hungry wolves and do them in. All right. Kill some wol uh, wolves. How do I increase my reputation with the orcs? Make yourself useful. Show the orcs that you've got it, even though you're only a human. Very simple. <clears throat> Eventually, you'll be admitted to Yurik's presence. I'll be following your exploits. I bet you will. How else can I be of use? Talk to Deckard the Quartermaster. He always has something to do. Besides that, you can get new equipment from him. Deckard Kane? No, Deckard in Gothic 3. This isn't uh, Diablo. Where can I find Deckard the Quartermaster? Go towards the lighthouse. We have a small hut behind Ukras's large warehouse. Our quartermaster keeps an eye on our stuff there. No, we do not know if we can trust you. Fair enough, we only just arrived. Would you teach me how to fight? Okay, strength. Large weapons, swords. Uh, shield pairing. 
Let's check our stats real quick again. Okay. I might learn this. Shield parry. We just need one more point in strength. At Where'd you go? What the heck? Why'd you move over there for? Got tired of talking to us, I guess. Let's talk to him again. Would you teach me how to fight? Alright, one point in strength. Good. And we'll learn shield. Teach me how to parry with a shield. The way of the shield is the way of the soldier. Listen, your shield is your best friend. So always carry it with you. It will protect you against most attacks, even against arrows. Oh, yes, one more thing. The shield does not belong on your weapon arm. Great. Now all we need is, a f is to find a shield. I probably should have grabbed one back in um, Ardea. I didn't think I was going to play with a shield in this game, but I think having a shield would be very nice to have with uh, some enemies. I don't know if you can block animal attacks with a shield. I hope so. Alright, let's move on. We've talked to Buford. That's good. He's the leader of the mercenaries. Got some... Got hey, eight. you! Come here! My goods still haven't arrived! What is it you mercenaries actually do all day? But... Silence! I want you to bring my goods back to me! And you better not come here again before you do. What goods are you waiting for? Three large packages with my name on them! Big, sturdy, wooden crates! You stupid mercenaries let those lousy bandits on the coast steal them! My goods are bound to still be there! Go and get them! Not a mercenary. Well, we used to be. And we will be soon. Look it up there. Holy... I didn't even... I just noticed that. That's... Well, that's war for you, right? Do you still have the stuff from the captured paladin? Yeah, a bunch of useless junk and a strange chalice. Can I have the chalice? One hundred gold coins. Sell me the captured paladin's chalice. Here, I can't do anything with it anyway. I will say I think I like the orcs in this game. You know, I like the orcs in the first two games too, but I like how you can talk to these ones, do quests for them, get a sense of their... You know, how they rule things and their culture, whatever. They still got that warrior's culture. Might is right, you know. I don't know, I think they're pretty cool in this game, so I don't mind that change so much. That's just going to call Wait a moment. What is it? You take what you like, just like a thief. And I like that. Would you be interested in a job? What sort of job? There are a couple of golden goblets in Urcross's warehouse. They want to use them to pay for new slaves. If you see to it that they disappear, I will teach you how to pick locks. Oh, pretty cool. Steal three golden goblets from Urkras's warehouse. Why should I steal for you if you don't even want the booty? We thieves are always on the lookout for people who have a better command of our craft than we do. Who knows? Maybe I could learn something from you. Maybe. Tell me more about thieves. We are everywhere and nowhere, always on the lookout for an opportunity. We usually know where there is good stuff to be had, and we also like selling our knowledge. How nice. Isn't it? <laughs> That's why I became a thief. How do I recognize one of you? You will only recognize men of my stripe if you ask the right questions. Just the sort of answer I expected. All right. That's Cyrus there. We'll talk to him in a minute because I want to grab this healing plant. Also, it's nighttime. 10 o'clock. 10.06. Let's talk to Cyrus. I would turn right around and get out of here if I were you. Why? There's nothing going on here, man. No gold, no women, and we're out of booze more often than not. Can you imagine guard duty with no booze? The only entertainment we ever get is the arena fights up by the tower. Well, there's actually no women in this game at all, really, besides the female rebels, which is... Stark contrast from the second game. You think there would be. What would you rather do besides being on guard duty at night? Wage a hefty battle against that bandit scum. That's what I would like. What exactly do you mean? Never heard of Ortega? He's the boss of the bandits in the coastal region. Tough bunch, those bandits. I would just love to sort them out. Do you always whine like that? Give me a bottle of booze and the two of us will be the best of friends. Deckard won't part with anything. 
that skin flint. Well, we already have booze. Here, I've got a bottle of booze for you. Thanks, man. That hits the spot. All right. For my last part, Gothic 1 and 2, if you watch those, you know I like keeping booze in my inventory, because in these games, NPCs like to uh, trade booze. So we can go bandit hunt. We're not going to do that now. It's nighttime. We'll come back with him later. Having some help against the bandits would, well, help, actually. Let's explore a little bit more. That's Deckard right there. That's where you talk to him. You haven't been around long, I'm have just you? Going to call Listen up, then. Boy. Whenever you need something, you come to me. The orcs don't trade with just anyone, Doesn't understand? I see. Get anywhere. Buford sent me. He says that you should equip me. He says that, huh? Doesn't sound like Buford at all. Sure. There's nothing yeah. to be had here for free, you know. First you work for me, and then I can talk equipment. Do you have work for me? Sure. You can run a few errands for me right away. I need some healing potions. Three should be enough. It's been rather quiet lately here in Cape Dunn, but it can't hurt to be prepared. As if it were well, so here you are. Ah, thank you. That's enough for now. If you need equipment, you know where to find me. So this is going to be a thing we're going to be doing in each town, as I said. I need some equipment. Look at what I've got then. All right, what do you have? You got rice, a stone tablet, gives you ancient knowledge. We'll probably buy that. Some rings. We got ring of endurance, ring of prote energy protection, fire protection, air protection, weapon protection. That's 500. Defense amulet, splendid protection amulet, and just close here. Light orc mercenary armor consists admittedly only of cloth and leather, but is processed but is processed rugged to offer protection in a fight. That's five thousand gold. We only have five hundred. Orc mercenary armor. The army armor was revamped and now offers also protection for the legs and an improved neck guard. That's thirty thousand. And heavy orc mercenary armor. The mercenaries make use of the assault armor of Mertana for their own purposes. And we got a pickaxe, a mage's staff, and another mage's staff, which we don't need. We'll buy this, though. And you can have this. Actually, no, you can't have that. Trade that, and you can have this. What else can I sell? No shields. That's a shame. Casket. This, uh... Is that the chalice we got? I think that's the chalice, isn't it? check just in case here I don't know if it's one of those games where you can accidentally sell uh, quest items there we go almost have a thousand again close that and let's find a place to sleep can we sleep anywhere we gotta get some wolf furs for the uh, hunter outside too Jens what's the matter haven't you ever seen anyone shoveling pig manure before? And drop that silly grin. Understand? I feel like we always have a grin on our face. Why don't you do something other than shoveling manure? Why? The orcs made me do it. I told you to wipe that stupid grin off your face. What'd I say? You weren't always a swineherd, were you? Who among us is what he was before the war? Ask all the humans who refused to give up. I belonged to the militia of this city before the war. Enos knows I would give anything for the good old days. You belong to the rebel underground. Rebels. I hate that word. We are simple citizens, trying not to be subjugated in our own country. Alright. How can I support you? Life out here is not without its dangers. So, who should I kill? No, you should get us weapons. Nothing special, just three bundles of weapons. Javier sent me. So, you've already been to Reddock as well? It's good to know that Reddock still exists. Thanks for the news. You're welcome. Yeah, we got some... We got level up. We're level 7 now. When will the revolution begin? We won't manage it alone. The orcs outnumber us. A very powerful paladin named Wenzel is being held prisoner up in the lighthouse. With his support, I would take the risk of attacking the orcs here in Cape Dunn. Alright. So... We gotta play like the man with no name, play both sides a little bit. 
Or do quests for both sides, not play them against each other or anything like that. You know what I mean. Um, let's go ahead and save again. I wonder if we can... This? Okay, no one saw us do that. And how many did he need? Gens. He needs 10 wolf skins. Alright. Well, it's nighttime now, so it's a good time to take things. One, two, three total, four, five. They don't seem to mind us taking this, taking stuff. I hope not. That's five. Let's go in here because we gotta get that uh, those chalices. Goblets, rather, I guess. That's one. Also got weapons. Oh, a teleporter stone. Good. There's a teleporter stone in each town. We gotta find them. Every time we arrive. Okay, we got thievery up. Thousand experience points. And what else can we get? That. Anything else? Do we get everything? It looks like it. Anything back there? I was looking with the camera. No, there's nothing back there. Let's leave. The sneaking animation is just not very good, is it? Compared to the first two games. Ah, uh, the missed, missed Gothic 1 and 2. So far, it's okay. The game, I mean. Let's, uh... Go up to the lighthouse. I wonder if we can talk to the paladin. We can't talk to these guys. They're... They're dead. What a way to go. Yeesh. Alright. What is over here? It's a cemetery. Also, it's getting dark. Shoot. It's midnight, right? Almost. The arena. Oh, there. I need some peace and quiet. All right. Let's go and save again. Talk to this guy. Are you here to fight in the arena? What can I win in the arena? The arena champion receives a sword. Oh. Losers get nothing at all. Oh, that's how it works. I want to fight in the arena. Fine. I will send you an easy opponent first. If you manage to defeat him. We can talk again. What do I do next? Enter the arena and fight. If you leave, you lose. Oh, he's already ready to go. All right. Then show me what you got. There's a fight. How about you? Losing health, bad. You showed him. Ah. That's no good. Let's reload. And we'll try again. First order of business. Let's heal up a little bit. Because I forgot to do that. Are you Skip all this. I want if Hey uh, folks! Uh, there's a fight! Uh, uh, Get on with it! You gotta stop doing that. I get an easy hit on you. There we go. You win. Uh, do you have anything I can take? Nope, just an energy potion. Endurance. That went a lot better than last time. We didn't even lose any health. Only got four healing potions left because we gave three to that one guy. Wait for him to get up. Let's check our stats real quick. Level 7. We're almost level 8. I think you can climb really high in this game. Hey, you devil. You're damn good. You'll go far among the gladiators. Much respect. 
All right. Oh, yeah. Talk to them after that. That way you get experience points. It's also a wolf fur here. Do they mind us taking it? No, they do not. I'm sure they won't mind us taking this healing plant. Stop. Not one step further. No, we do not know if we can trust you. We are lacking 35 points in rep. It's all we need. Grab that. Water barrel. Let's drink a little bit. That we can get max health. I just can't go on. Let's save again and talk to Eric. You won, but this was an easy opponent. So don't get too cocky now. I can send you a good opponent if you want. I should have took Fadi's uh, shield. Give me an opponent. You want to fight? You can fight. You are going to face my best fighter. Enter the arena. All right. And there's an arena in every city, I believe. Achoo. There's a fight. Ah. Oh, I'm spinning. Oh. Defend yourself. Oh. Ah. Oh. Keep oh. Your guard up. Ah. There we go. We leveled up. But do you have anything I can take? You just have gold. I'll take it. You can keep the weapon. I don't need it. Wait for him to get up. Do -ba doo do do dee Come on. I guess we'll talk to Eric while I wait. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, my head. He went to bed. Let's talk to this guy real quick again. Well fought, stranger. There we go. We got some experience points from that. We'll just wake the orc up. Damn, Mora. What is it? I won. Yes, you fought well. Nobody else wants to go up against you. You are the champion. Do I get a prize? Yes, this sword. Wear it with pride, for it is a good blade. Now go to sleep and leave me alone. Damn. I'm tired. Mora, what is it? All right, we got a broad sword, which is... Ah, okay. That's a bit better than our... Orc Slayer weapon. The blade is neither too short nor too long. A perfect weapon for beginners and advanced fighters. And also, we can make a broadsword of our uh, of our own. I think it's better than this weapon. And we can sharpen this weapon too. It also has better range as well. It also looks pretty cool. Alright, we can't go in the lighthouse after all, but it's a good thing we came up here. Because we got some experience points. Level 8 currently. Let's go back down. Maybe we can go to sleep and find a bed. Or rather, find a bed and then go to sleep. Got a wolf fur here for gens. Nothing else around here. But this town was in the demo as well back when I played it. They locked off, like, I think there was like a visual indicator that you were like in a boxed area. And you can't go past the boundaries or something like that. That was a long time ago. Okay, we can't go in there. Where, where can we sleep? Is there like an inn or something like that? Or... I don't know where to go. Like a barracks or something? I don't even know. There's the Hashishan's tent right there. Maybe in here? Ah. Okay. Well, let's go to sleep. I think we'll choose this corner bed here. And nighty night. It is morning time. Eight in the morning. We got 50 reputation with Cape Dunn. We're doing all right. And honestly, I don't really mind these kind of MMO style quests, I guess. I do prefer Gothic 1 and 2, though. At least they don't have indicators on the map leading to you to your next objective or anything like that. Let's talk to Buford to see how he's doing. I heard you're now champion of the arena. Respect. Deckard the quartermaster is pleased with the potions. Well done. Oh, we can write out the uh, guide to the... Uh, who belongs to the road. We'll do that last. No, 
We do not know if we can trust you. 25 points left. I'm supposed to bring his goods back to Urkras. What's the problem? Do you know where I can find them? No, but there are lots of rebels and bandits in the woods around here. Maybe you should just go along the coast. There must be clues around there somewhere. What sort of goods are they? No idea, but I suspect the usual supplies. The whole coastal region is currently being supplied with goods from the Midlands. Alright. Let's go and save again. And... How many wolf skins do we have? Not there. We need two more. Also, I need to use this, the stone tablet. Something about the history of the ancient culture. See how much we can get um, with just tablets, since we're not going to spend any points on it. We're not going to use staves. Oh, a druid, fire mage, water mage, dark mage, mono regen. Eventually, we're going to learn how to prospect as well. I like smithing in games. Smithing is pretty fun. Let's go ahead and leave. Find our... Oh, what you call it? Wolf skins. Where are they? There's one there. Just need one more. Is there one down here? No, this goes down to the beach. No time for a swim, so let's go back. Just need one more wolf skin. There we go. Wolf fur. Let's go back to Jen's. See how he's doing. Probably just hanging out and relaxing like every other NPC in this game. Or in any game for that matter. Alright, here he is. I hear wolves. Here. This should be enough wolf skins. Huh. Rather decent quality. I'm sure they'll fetch a good price. I will teach you how to hunt if you like. All right. Um, Teach me something about hunting. Hunting skill, bow, skinning beasts, skinning reptiles. But we're not high enough for that. We need 110 for teeth, 120 for animal skins, and 130 for reptiles. I think animal skins would be the most... Because it requires... I can find it. What am I looking for? Shoot. I guess it's not here. The broadsword recipe requires a wolf skin, I believe. Let's talk to him again. I'm looking for a slave. Do I look like a slave trader to you? His name is Herrick. He's from Cape Dunn. Well, nobody came past my hut. He's probably still somewhere near the city. Somewhere near the city. That's very helpful. Let's go and save in a new slot. Alright, uh... I guess we gotta explore? I guess, we do have to have to explore. The alchemist chest... Okay, that's in his house. Gotta find Herrick, gotta take out the hungry wolves. Bundles of weapons for Phil. Three bundles of weapons. How many do we have? We got one. Shoot. Alright, let's go back to Cape Dunn. See if we missed anything. I'm sure you have something. Okay, he says else to nothing. Do. We'll take this. This wolf fur, because why not? There's a guy over there. Is that Herrick? Another wolf fur here. We'll take that. Magic root. And hello. That's... Well, that was easy. He's right here. Not quite a good uh, hiding place. Let's talk to him. What? Who? What do you want? Go away. Why are you running around here? Relax, friend. I'm only looking for plants. Plants, is it? Got anything worth mentioning? Sure, I have a few healing plants. You wouldn't happen to carry a piece of roast meat by any chance? No. Too bad. 
Oh well, doesn't matter. Guess I will have to eat the plants then. How can I find plants here? Oh, that's easy, provided you know where to look. Like where, for instance? On mountainsides. If you're really lucky, you can find whole fields of plants sometimes. You don't look like an herbalist. All right, stranger, you win. I'm a slave. I made it out of Cape Dunn. You found me, but you shouldn't make any rash decisions. I will now take you back to Gamal, your owner. Oh, crap. Hey, don't lose your cool. I'm not looking for trouble. Let's talk. Oh, what can you tell what me? What can you tell me? I am a local man, so I'm sure there are quite a few things I can help you with. So is it really worth a few measly coins for my head? Or will you help me get out of here? Where are you trying to go? Just get me past the village, to Yen's the hunter. I will hide with him for a while, and have a couple of decent meals. One hand washes the other. I may lack in courage, but I am rather nimble and agile. If you help me, perhaps I could teach you some of my skills. Yen's is his name. So we can take him away, or we can bring him back to Herrick, not Herrick, the uh, uh, Shishin. We're gonna do this. No talking. You will follow me now. All right. If you can't be persuaded, I will do what you tell me. Okay, come on. I guess we had to choose that, huh? I thought that was gonna take him to Yen's. I'll take you out of here. Good. He said good. All right. Just got to do a little walk over here. Take this wolf fur. Did we already grab that? Did it come back? I guess I missed it, didn't I? All right, I got your slave. Ah, my slave. Very good. Who knows what trouble he would have gotten himself into. Here, you've earned this bag of gold. And as for you, I'll deal with you later, pal. Tell me more about the slave hunters. There are various options to gain reputation with the orcs as a human. You can fight in the arena for fame and glory, or you can serve them in other ways. We Hashishin of the desert provide them with fresh workers for everyday jobs and for the digs. So you Hashishin are nothing but mercenaries for the orcs. <laughs> Maybe you should pay a visit to our cities in the desert, my friend. Then you will see for yourself what role the people of the Hashishin are really playing in this world. Uh, maybe. What are the orcs digging for? Their digs are everywhere across the country. If you want to know what exactly they are looking for, ask them. Show me your goods. All right, he's got interesting weapons. Nice little curved dagger there. One more crossbow. A halberd. That requires large weapons, though. Let's sell him some stuff, I think. Now nah, we're good. Let's close that. And let's find a... Was there a smithy around here? Let's look. Don't know if there is... There it is. Not a smithy, but there's a whetstone here. There we go. Now we can do 70 damage with the... broad sword. But there's no anvil, unfortunately. But, uh... Either way, let's go up here. Because... We gotta get that alchemist chest. I don't know if you can in here. No, this is... At the right spot. We have to go down. I think I have to wait till nighttime. It's currently day three right now. Let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and save here. Go in. That was easy. Here it says something about alchemy. Of course. Now we have 22 alchemy. Chest here. Not much in here. We'll take it all though, because why not? He's got a water barrel in his house. That's nice. There's the chest. It's a nice little house too. Too hard. Ah, darn it. We need to learn how to pick difficult locks. 
We gotta bring the goblets back first, then we can do that. Shoot. You're creeping around like a thief. No, I'm not. Goodbye. Alright, let's go back to the thief. Right over here. This game has nice music, doesn't it? It's very very cozy. Alright, here he is. I have made the golden goblets disappear. I knew that would appeal to you. Well, you can exchange the golden goblets for lots of gold coin with any merchant. Good. And if you're still looking for a job, go to Ardea. Jack the tower guard collected a fat lump of gold from the rebels. I see. Teach me something about thievery. All right. Let's check the requirements for that. We need 30 thief skill and we got 11. So we can't quite do that just yet, can we? Uh, darn it. Um, hmm. Let's check that again. 250 gold. We're kind of low on gold. We got 1100. There's that fire chalice. So that's, this is the chalice. That's not that. We can sell that. <clears throat> Let's save. And check our quests. Alchemist chest later. We gotta kill the hungry wolves. We got to, uh... Give meat to Hera. Can we still do that? Hope we're not too late. Let's cook some meat on this campfire here. Which we haven't done yet. And unlike Gothic 1 and 2, you can cook all of them at once. There you go. Don't have to do it one at a time. Though, in Gothic 1, I remember back when I played it... You were able to cook meat in quick succession just by pressing the up button, but for some reason it was not working. Um, last time when I streamed it in December. Now where's Herrick at? Over here? Oh, where'd he go? There he is. What else do you want? Just get lost. I brought you some meat. Cool. Thanks, man. Here are the healing plants. We would make a great team, you and I. We could, but you know, now you're a slave again, so there goes that. Okay. So Cape Dunn, we got, we're at 60. Ardea's 100. Red X 90. Bundle weapons. I guess we'll find the hungry wolf packs around Cape Dunn. So let's go ahead and save. And go find some wolves to hunt. We need to make some money too. We spent uh, quite a bit. Sunweed. I don't know what that's used for. Killing plant. And we got a wolf here. Let's take him out. How about you? And oh. Stop moving backwards. Yeah, they do that. See that? In the base game, you saw how he missed. I think in the base game... Not think, I'm sure. I remember wolves and boars being absolutely dangerous because they can stun lock you. They were very infuriating. But in this game, they just hit you a few times, I think. And then you can get back up and continue onwards. I do not know how Piranha Bites missed that. But either way, we're kind of low on health a little bit. That's okay. That's... One pack of wolves taken care of there. So let's go over here and see if there's any more. Ah. Oh, I think they're trying to hunt that deer. Or they're just nearby. Because in Gothic 1 and 2, animals sometimes attack each other. I like that. Let's use our bow for a change. How about you? Okay, bring out our sword. Ah, uh, uh, you see what I mean? What the deuce? That was no good. Well, let's try again. Maybe drink a healing potion so we can actually survive. 
Very sad music. When wolves are more dangerous than orcs. It makes sense, though, because people are complaining about how orcs are easier in this game compared to the first two games, but... In Gothic 2, the Nameless killed a lot of orcs, and you start off where you're last left off, kind of. You know? So he's already like a trained orc slayer. How about you? Okay, that's one down. Move back, but that's not going to help you. Music's a little too epic to be fighting wolves. But either way, let's go ahead and save. I think that's all the wolves. So let's go back to... What's his face? Back in Cape Dunn. Marlo? Buford. The orc leader. Let's go talk to him. No need to skip ahead. It's just right over here. But yeah, like I said in the last part, the music in this game fits more of a movie than an atmospheric video game. You know, like a Jeremy Sewell that really sucks you into the world. Still great music, though. Not my own opinion. I read, I saw that in a video, which I agree with. Gamal's slave is back. He has nothing but good things to say about you. Jens the hunter says you're useful. So it's Jens or Jens, okay. No, we do not know if we can trust you. 15 points left. Okay, we didn't kill all the wolves, I guess. Sometimes I like to make hard saves every once in a while. And separate save slots as we go on. And I'm hungry. I probably should have eaten before I started doing this. It's like first thing in the morning that I do this just to... Uh, Get it all edited and ready to go. Hopefully I won't have problems editing it, but either, either way. I think over here... Kill the hunger wolf packs around Cape Dunn. That's a cool name, Cape Dunn. Right, let's go over here. Up, oh, I hear wolves. We're also moving very, very slowly. That's what happens when you're climbing up. Here, like that. Let's, oh, that's a lot. Not a lot, but there's three. Um, let's take the high ground a little bit. See if we can take one out before they come to us. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to hit him. Oh, the way they're moving is so comical. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, shoot. I forgot to... Right, we're still using our orc sling weapon. I need to put it in the hop bar. I forgot. Ah. Ow. Uh-oh. If I die, that sucks. Darn it. The end. Alright, let's go put our weapon here. There we go. Now we got our broadsword out. That probably would help, right? Anyways, let's try this again. Round two. We missed. Not good. Alright. Okay, that's two down. And we... Flawless victory. We are all good. I didn't mean to pick up that mushroom, but that's okay. I do like mushrooms. Especially on pizza. Pepperoni and mushrooms. Delicious. Let's go over here. Maybe there's some treasure. There is. There's a chest here. Oh? Broken. How many lockpicks do we have? 
Oh, we got one more left. Shoot, let's. That was the last one. All right, he's got this chest has five burning arrows, a summon animal scroll, four bottles of water, fifteen gold coins. We'll take all that. And we need to get some more lock picks. I probably should have bought more back in town, back not down, but Ardea. Some skeletons here, and there's nothing else. Now hopefully that's all the wolves. Let's go back to Buford. No need to skip ahead because just right over here. We're low on stamina. Nice little cozy town here. Alright, please tell me that was all the wolves because I don't want to go back out there again. Ah. What the deuce? Is it broken? There are a lot of hungry wolves roaming around outside the city. Find the hungry wolves and do them in. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and save here. I think we're going to try to take out the... Uh, bandits. I don't think we're ready, but we'll try. Hopefully we'll find a shield. Let's drink some water first before we go. One more. All right, here we are. Let's go bandit hunting. <laughs> Very well. Time to pay a visit to Ortega. That swine must have his cave somewhere here in the coastal region. Let me know when the fun is going to start. A plague of bandits in the coastal region. Come with me. All right. Cyrus joins us. Hopefully he won't die. So... Just checking something here. Alright. Well, let's go find that coastal cave. I imagine this is down there. I mean, it's on the coast, so... Let's go down to where that beach was. And you can get there from town. From this town. Hello, Gamal. How's your slave doing? He seems to be relaxing and not working. That's interesting. Alright, hopefully Cyrus won't die, but we made a save, so I guess it doesn't matter if he dies or not. Just glad I don't have alternative AI on. Oh, here we are. That was easy. This cave's right here. Well, this might not be the cave. There's man mine crawlers in there, Cyrus. I don't think this is the right cave. Save again. You can always ask me to leave, right? Yep, you can tell him to go back. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we'll grab these. Why not? Get some extra money. Hmm. No. Not during a battle? Okay. Let's take these minecrawler out. Gotcha. Stop moving backwards. Ah, the combat. Yeesh. Oh, come on. Don't do that. I couldn't do anything. Well, shoot, load this again. I'm dying a fair bit, and not to orcs, but to creatures. They are fairly strong for what we're prepared for. Let's try again. I forgot to grab these. Excuse me, Cyrus. All right, Cyrus, you take point. Not take point, but you fight that thing. Go on, don't be afraid. Attack it. There we go. This is a better position. Use one filthy beast less. There we go. I need a lockpick. Yeah, we're out of lockpick. Shoot. All right, I'm gonna write that down real quick. Coastal cave chest. I don't think it matters. Probably nothing in there, but just in case. Oh, is there anything up there? You can't climb like in Gothic 1 and 2. 
can only jump. Combat music, but nobody around. Let's take all those. Another chest here. Not like that. Uh oh. Ouch. Ah. Storm goblins. But die. Cyrus, you're not much help, man. This is probably not even the cave, either. The humans are much more easier than creatures are. Let's take all this again. I think that was like different stuff in there, wasn't it? So these chests are kind of random. Hello, gobbos. Let's get down here. Cyrus is, like, not doing anything. Yeesh, come on. Yeah, that's one down. Yeesh. One filthy beast less. Cyrus has a lot of health at least, but he's not really... ...was sad at all. Alright, take that. Take those. We'll drink a potion. Let's explore more of this dangerous cave. Pretty sure the bandits aren't in here. Be cool if they are, but I don't think so. More goblins. Wonderful. That's way too many goblins. Holy, holy smokes. We leveled up at least. Okay. Who's gonna win? All right. Cyrus, come on. Well, that takes care of that. Didn't mean to click that. Take that. We'll grab the cudgels too, because I don't like stuff littering the game world. I still hear combat music as well. We'll take the time to heal. Let's move forward. Okay, minecrawler. Let's move back, actually. following us. Shoot. From back out here. It's a nice view. Like the map is actually pretty nice to just look at. But Gothic 1 and 2 had it's more densely packed with stuff to do. I don't like using the word content. But you know. Quest. Monsters. NPCs. It was a, th those were good games, but I don't think this game is that bad, as people are saying. I just remember it being an okay experience back back when I played it. I don't remember hating it, and so far I'm not hating it, but it is with a community patch. Hello, goblin. And you asked for it. Ah. Uh, Yeesh. I need a shield. And just spam attack here. If I can hit it, I can't even hit it. Well, that takes care of that. All right, I think we're just. Oh, that's a ogre over there. Whatever they're called. Okay, this isn't the cave, so let's just leave. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. I need a lockpick. That would be a heck of a cave for the bandits to be in so close to the city. Like, they're just literally right underneath their noses. Let's drink a potion. 
Read this again just in case. Somewhere here in the coastal region. I think you need to talk to NPCs to find it. I may just give up for a little while and do it later. Oh, what's this? A rusty sword? We'll grab that. There's Cyrus right there. I think, oh, there's an enemy. What is that? A lurker. There, so much for you, filthy beast. They changed the uh, model to the lurker. I think I prefer the lurkers in the first two games. Swamp weed. Remember those? And blood reed. That's new. There's no one over here. Ah, I can't even get a good hit on it. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah, it does. Okay, let's go over here. Where's that cave? Hopefully that cave is nearby. I'm also low on healing potions. That's not good. More lurkers here. Too many lurkers. All right, come on. Ah. I'm gonna die. Well, that takes Ugh, that was close. That. Mm, I'm so low on health. Using all my healing potions. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, this will work. There we go. Give a guy a booze and he follows you into battle. There we go. How much health do you have, Cyrus? You're good. Pretty strong. Here's a cave. Are there bandits in here? I see goblins, not bandits. You think this would be a good spot, though? Let's go ahead and save again, actually. Bring our bow and arrow out, and let's go ahead and pick these guys off. One down. Uh. Okay, whoa. Okay, never mind. That's the same cave, of course. Let's reload. Alright, let's just leave. I think we're gonna go back to... Let's just, uh... I think we're gonna go back to Cape Dunn, so I will see you there. Alright, here we are. Let's just send back Cyrus back to where he belongs. Go back now. You know where to find me. And we'll come back to him later once we find that bandit cave. At least we got some experience. All we need to do now is find out where the darn... Wolves are. I feel like we killed all of them, didn't we? Let's go over here and sweep out, I guess. Hungry wolf packs. I don't know where they are. Because Buford did give us the quest. Maybe over here? Because that's part of the uh, town, I guess. Sunway, we'll take that. Any wolves here? 
Answer is no. I don't think so. We're kind of kind of far from Cape Dunn, I think, to be finding wolves. You know, around here. Okay. Oh, here we go. One wolf attacking scavengers. It's taking a lot of experience, too. Stop that. Let's go ahead and just go with our sword. And these wolves really give me nervousness. There we go. That was the last wolf. Finally. That is what I'm talking about. Grab these plants. Don't think we need them, but whatever. If they're here, I'll grab them. Also, a little trick, like I said in the last part. Just uh, crouch if you want to grab things quickly. I probably won't do that because... Well, I like being immersed. If you ever played Red Dead Redemption 2, a lot of people complained about how slow that game was. I really liked the uh, whole immersive aspect of that game. Though there's other things I don't like about it that I won't really get into. But I uh, kind of wish there were more games like that. I'm just not really into Rockstar games that much anymore. <clears throat> the first one was GTA 3 when that came out. And oh boy, that game really blew the socks off of everyone back back in those days. Vice City as well. Who's Barrow? Take that. I uh, guess we go back to Buford and turn in that quest and then we can figure out what else we're going to do. So I'll see you there. Hello, sir. I'm back. The hungry wolves are history. You took care of the wolves? Not bad. Here's your pay. All right, 300 gold. Are the orcs pleased with me? You did it. You're no longer a stranger to the orcs. Now you can move about the city freely. Nice. Go straight to Yurik. He wants to talk to you. Nice, nice, nice. We're not going to turn in the rebel guy yet. The rebel contact. Leave him alone. Actually, let's go talk to the thief. Real quick. Wonder if we can buy some lockpicks. No. Show me your goods. Okay. Oh, there we go. Buy all that. Now we got some lockpicks. Pretty cool. We'll also give him this. We'll keep the bison fur and wolf fur. Sell this. Uh, we'll keep the knife. Why not? Sell these ladles. What else can we give him? Got a lot of stuff here. Um, you have that. Cudgels, swords. Uh, we'll keep the orc slayer. Why not? I don't know. Get a little bit of money. Okay, his health regenerates all the way back when you send him back, so that's good. All right. Um, bundles of weapons. Uh, let's go talk to Uruk. Urukai? No, just Uruk, the orc. Like his name's Uruk. Stop! Not one step further. Can I talk to Uruk? You can go in. Uruk is expecting you, Mora. There we go. You should have just said that the first time. Hello, sir. So you're the Mora who served the city so well. My warriors are talking about you. Nothing bad, I hope. They respect you. That's enough for me. 
You're hard to get to. We orc leaders don't deal with dust anymore, uh. We have important tasks to perform for our people. We don't have time for the affairs of slaves. That's what our mercenaries are for. What exactly is your mission? I'm looking for a way to smoke out the rebels in the coastal region. They are everywhere. Even in this city. So far, I haven't managed to find their hideout. The slaves call it Reddick. I call it Rat's Nest. I prefer Rat's Nest over Reddick, because Reddick, the name, reminds me of Reddit, the website. But either way... What have you done to try and find Reddick? My squads are patrolling the coastal region night and day. I even captured a paladin, and I questioned him every day. So far without success, he still won't talk. What about the rebels within the city? They have a leader. I still haven't been able to find out who it is. The bastard has a brilliant disguise. Find him and take him out of circulation. Destroy the rebel underground and Cape Dunn. What else can you tell me about Zardis? The first attack on Faring was already a failure when he came to us. But then he took the rune magic away from the Moras. Our second attack on Faring turned the castle into a slaughterhouse. We're not going to choose that yet, because, like I said, it's better to do all the optional quests, or all the quests first, before you even join a faction, which... Well, it's going to be a while before we join the Orc Mercenaries, or any faction for that matter. Will you tell me more about this Faring? Faring is a high mountain fortress at the pass to Nordmar, near your capital, Vengard. Our strongest warriors are stationed there. The journey to Faring is only worthwhile for a Mora if you're a famous gladiator. I want to talk to the captured paladin. He's up in the lighthouse. Do whatever you want with him. I can't get any more answers out of him. Right, that's it. He's got a nice throne. Well, not really. It looks fitting for an orc. Stool, chest. I guess we'll leave. Do you say anything new? Fight with honor. I will. Well, as much as I can. We're not a very honorable person. Let's go talk to the paladin now, because our reputation with Cape Dunn is currently 75. It's not bad. Go up here past these dead paladins. Poor guys. That's, uh, that's what happens when you lose. They couldn't get enough magical ore weapons for the orcs, and their rune magic's gone. Stop! Not one step further. Let me pass. Let me pass. You can go in. Nice. Ah, uh, bookshelf or lectern, excuse me. There's nothing new here. Bookshelf. It's a book, not a bookshelf. There he is. No. Not again. Please. Uh, you aren't an orc. How did you get in here? Who are you? My name is Wenzel. I am a paladin and come from Montera. I fought against the orcs there. What happened in Montera? One morning, shortly before dawn, the orcs surrounded the city, and that was that. Almost half of us were killed. All the rest were enslaved. Where is this Montera? In the north. You must cross the mountains that separate the coast from the interior to get there. We'll get there eventually. Why are you a prisoner and not a slave? One of their slave hunters dragged me here and sold me to the orcs. Since then, the orcs have come every day and interrogated me. They want me to betray the location of the rebel camp Reddick. What do you know about Reddick? Reddick is the only refuge for us rebels here on the coast. I would sooner die than tell anyone where my brothers are hiding. Where can I find rebels besides in Reddick? They are everywhere. Throughout the land, there are groups opposing the orcs. They hide in the woods, in caves, or in the cliffs. The orcs will never find them all. We will only rest when our kingdom is once again free. So we can give him this chalice back, but I'm not going to. We'll keep it for now. We still gotta do stuff for Reddick as well. We gotta eliminate the orc patrol on the farm. The roaming orc patrol between Reddick and Ardea. 
and weapons for the rebels. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not going to give him the uh, thingamajig, the chalice, goblet, tick, whatever, the oblet. So let's go ahead and save right here. Got about 30 minutes left. We'll save again in a quick slot, and we'll do something. What would I do? What can I find in Cape Dunn? Alchemist Chess. Oh, I guess I'm gonna try to find uh, find where the uh, the Bandit Cave is. So I will be right back. All right, so we're back in Ardea. Let's see if I can get a shield here and just sort of relax and talk to. <clears throat> excuse me. Everyone, I don't think we can steal anymore. You can see now all the rebels have taken refuge, not refuge, but they've taken over the town, uh, naturally. We owe you so much. Oh, I like that energy. Does Hamlar say anything new? Good thing the rebels are here now. I hope the orcs here will leave us alone for a while longer. I hope for your sake they do too. We got some experience, 500. Show me your goods. All right, what do you have? Let's just buy all these lockpicks. They're not expensive. Wine. Nothing else we need. There we go. See you later. See you later. Show me your goods. Yeah, what, do I, what do I have to do to get a sword? Not a sword, a shield. I want a shield. It's got a bastard sword. The sword is a mix of one-hander and two-hander with extended hilt. Requires 180 strength though. That's a really good sword. Long sword. We need 150 strength for that. Let's go ahead and just get out of that, and let's see if we can. Let's see if forging a weapon is better than our base weapon. I don't know. 70. Just want to make one. It is better. So all we have to do is whetstone. Use the whetstone. There we go. So crafting is better than the base weapon you get. So you can see. Uh, plus 10 if it's self-forged and plus 10 to damage if it's sharpened. So that's plus 20. That's gonna... Also requires less strength than um, if you just grab it normally. So let's... Put that there, and we'll go ahead and sell that sword. Not to Hamlar. It makes sense to sell it to the Smith. Show me your goods. Alright. I kinda wanna keep the Orc Slayer. You have that, I guess. Hold balance. Got some money. And there we go. Let's go ahead and save. What if we can go in here? Grab a shield. Um, that shield looks broken. Oh, there's a person here. Hello. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble either. I want a shield. I think I'll take this one. Oh, guess not. That is thievery. Should have grabbed it when we arrived. But either way, let's leave town. Because I found out where the bandit cave is, but I wanted to come here first and do some things. So you want to... Go in this direction over here. And we'll slay creatures along the way, of course. With our brand new weapon. Self-forged weapon. How about you? There we go. That's a little bit easier, isn't it? Take out this scavenger. Only requires two hits, that's good. So far, so good. But yeah, I didn't want to play with alternative AI because it was just a pain in the butt fighting in groups. And also I don't want to I want I don't want this game to be longer than it already is. Because honestly, I'm not really hating it right now. It's it's alright. I think I can play this game all the way to the end. Because what you see here is not going to change the further along we get into the game, I believe. And like I said, last time I played this, it wasn't... I just didn't find it that bad, I guess. 
And like I told someone in the comments section in the part one, if I can play Ultima 9, I think I can play anything. I just hope I don't eat my words later on. Okay, but not this way. I think this way. Grab this wild berry. There's Vanguard over there. If you can see, it's a little bit blurry. How about you? All those? Fire nettle. Um. Okay, I think. I forget where it is. I think it's over here. Ah, a chest. Let's open it. Just some basic stuff. We'll take all that. Booze. Weed. Gold. Same thing here. Anything in this burnt out cabin? No. Some orcs here. Let's go ahead and save. Now, I don't think you can get your reputation lowered if you do stuff for the rebels and vice versa for the orcs. Can't remember, but let's take out this wolf. How about you? Oh, that was close. Almost hit us. I don't want to get hit right now. There's that chest that we can't open, I don't think. We'll try. Oh, we already opened it. Never mind. If it has a red text, that means that we haven't opened it. And I also forgot to pick up this healing plant. No, oh, I completely forgot. I should have made some healing potions back in Ardea. But we can always go back. Let's take out these wolves. How about you? Uh. We got hit once, that's okay. I guess. Because there's three wolves here, there's a camp over there. Let's go over there first. Or wolf. What level are we? Level nine? Let's see if we can take anything here. Anything that will help us on our quest to eliminate the wolves and Martana. There's some basic stuff here. Too hard. Too hard, it says. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Get nightmares from these wolves back when I played it. Wolves and boars, they're so annoying. Let's go over to Stonehenge here. If you remember in part one and two, um, King Sorrel is around stone circles. Hey, wait. What is it? Be warned. The area east of Vengard is full of orcs. Plenty of orcs. So what? They're not really the laid back kind, you know? They're just waiting for an opportunity to fight. If they set eyes on you, your dog meat. Is there a way to get past the orcs? Forget about getting to the pass behind Vengard. You'll run into even more orcs there. You could try getting through to Faring. Just keep as far away from the orcs as possible. All right, I'll do that. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I make a living from whatever I find here in the coastal region. You live out here all by yourself? Why not? I don't feel like being enslaved by the orcs. The bandits are nobody's fools either. They attack anyone on sight. But there's one place you should stay away from. Vengard, the capital to the north. A whole army is camped out there. I wouldn't get too close to them if I were you. I see. Ever heard the name Ortega? Sure. Everybody knows Ortega. He's the boss of the bandits on the coast. Their headquarters are in a cave northwest of here. I see. Can you teach me how to hunt? Sure, but not for free. We all have to look out for ourselves these days. You bring me the meat of the shy deer over in the east, and I'll show you a few tricks. What do you think? Is that a fair deal? We have to do this with every person to get trained. I'll get you the deer meat. Fine, but be careful. If the orcs catch sight of you outside of Vengard, you have gone too far, Savvy. Got it. Who's this guy I think he is? Jack Sparrow? 
Show me your goods. All right, so he's got bows. Got some arrows. I think we'll buy some. That's way too much. 12,000 gold for like 100 arrows. Yeesh. I wonder if I can hold down shift. Control. How do I get like a certain amount? There we go. You just hold down the... Uh... Oh, no. I was reading that wrong. It's 288. What was I thinking? 288 gold for a bunch of arrows. I think we'll buy all that. Why not? That's not too expensive, is it? I must have clicked on something else. Not paying attention. Like when I talk and game at the same time, my mind's all over the place. Multitasking is not my strong suit. Then again, it's not supposed to be anyone's strong suit. Take out this boar. I can. This is a bit easier. Ah, yeesh. Makes me nervous. But anyways, he told us where Ortega is. But I kind of cheated a little bit because I wanted to look at a guide, I guess. The chest down here. There's a rusty sword there, too. We'll grab that. There we go. Alright, we got Fog Scroll. A bank of fog forms around the hero and protects him from the eyes of his enemies. Sleep. The hero sends his target into a deep sleep and just knickknacks for the rest. Arrows and gold. Let's go and save and drink our second to last healing potion. And we're going to have one more. I knew there was a blood fly there, but I'm not going to... I guess we'll fight it, otherwise we'll miss it. Uh, there we go. It'll be much easier the stronger we get. With these... Uh, oh! A boar! Come on, man. Really? Low on health again. Well, at least we found... I'm not going to fight those wolves right now. We're close to... not close. Kind of close to level 10. But man, we need money. Like, really bad. So we can actually train. Rainweed. That's like a green... Uh, coloring there. Must be rare. Sunweed. What? Oh. Hello there. How about you? No, you. Oh, the ragdolls. It's funny. Okay, we'll take all that. We'll take his halberd. Take everything. Now let's go ahead and save. Right here. Just in case we run into any problems in this cave. I'm sure we will. Let's get our weapon ready. We don't have Cyrus with us, so let's see if we can take this... Take these bandits out on our own. We will go slow and careful. I see one over there. We'll go after him in a bit. There's two here. Three here. Alright, so... Let's try to use our... Uh-oh. Oh, can we lure him? Alright. See if we can take these guys out here. Well, only one person can attack you at a time, so. It's not like they're gonna gang up on you. Not like Gothic 1 and 2. Though I didn't mind it so much in Gothic 1 and 2. I gotta stop comparing this game so much to Gothic 1 and 2, but. Well, that thought, we have a shield. A broken wooden shield. Excellent. Finally, our first shield. Does... It's worn. 50%. One against blades, one against impact, and two against missiles. Well... Wear it, I guess. 
It's better than nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes I gotta clear my throat as I play, and I forgot to set my mute hotkey. Because I had to redo my profile for OBS. Here those guys come. So now we can block. Maybe we can block uh, creature attacks with it too. Oh, they're not coming after us. Let's go over here. Now you're going to bleed. No, you're gonna bleed. How about you? Uh oh, <laughs> never mind. I bled. Shoot. Did I save after getting the shield? I hope so. We did. Nice. All right, let's try this again. Round two. He's a bit strong. And that's why his name is Red, right? Yeah, humans are much easier than animals, at least in the beginning. Then again, this game isn't really, really difficult. It's really, really easy. Aside from the boars and the wolves. What the? Oh. Oh, shoot. Let's go back. They're really low in health. And that's our last healing potion. We need to make some more. Grab all that. Go ahead and save again. Alright. Ring of Endurance, nice. We'll take that. Oh, healing potion. We're probably gonna have to use it. Um, let's try using some of these scrolls too. Let's wear that ring. Drink this. Okay, we got five fireball scrolls. Let's go ahead and put that there. Rather, yeah, right here is fine. No, actually, no. Let's put it over here so I can reach my so I can reach it easier. Cure Disease Scroll, because we got 100 mana, so we can cast these. We got Terror, we got Summon Animals if we want to. Tame Animals? I gotta remember to use some of these. Oh, that's cool. So I'm not really much of a mage, as you guys know, for those of you who watch my playthroughs. But I do like using Magical Scrolls, like sort of an augment, in a way, I suppose. Let's go up here. That's a lot of, a lot of dudes. Oh boy. That's not too right much. There. Let's use one more. Okay. Alright. I gotcha. There's Ortega. Let's take him out. And with alternative AI, it's it's much harder to fight these guys. Oh, should have blocked. Yeesh. Okay, there we go. Ex except if they have a um, a bow and arrow. Hey! That's a way. See what I mean? So two attack you if one's ranged. Alright, let's try using a different scroll. Let's bring out this. I like how he has a scroll in his hand. Um, I'll show you. I wasted it. That didn't do anything. Is it broken? Well, we got about 10 minutes. I don't think we're going to clear this bandit cave in this playthrough. In this part, I mean. But we'll try. Let's see if we can lure some of these guys. I'll show you. 
Don't want to fight all of them. That's one. Stop right there. Messed that up a little bit. Oh. Ah. It's quick. What the? Okay. Just keep pressing left click and you will win if you don't mess up like I do because I suck at games. There we go. We'll take all that. Your sword. Another wooden shield. Stew. Delicious. Stew heals for quite a bit, too. You, Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right here. 40%, 50%. So, in fact, I think I'll use stew. There we go. We'll put this here. This actually heals a fair bit. Let's go ahead and save, since we killed three bandits. And also that shield we got. Is it better than ours? Nope. It is not. I got a shield. I'm barely using it. Take all that. Let's go ahead and save again. And off we go. I'll tear your head off. I will drink from your skull. Bonus points if you know where that reference is from. Right oh, crap. Archers. Let's go back out here. Let's take out that archer. Okay. How about you, Ortega? What the deuce? That's the oh! way they got it. That didn't go out too well. If you're not currently engaged with someone, someone else would attack you like that. I'll tear you apart. Let's see if we can lure some of these guys out. Looks like just one. I'll on, get closer. Stop right there. We're going. Just you wait, oh. boy. Yeah, I thought I'd make. I thought I'd make it after he finished that animation. Uh, uh. Just keep clicking away. Uh, uh. These heavy bandits have a fair uh. amount of health. Let's move back a little bit. Careful. Whoa. Uh. I got you. I swear I held down the block button when he swung at me like that. Yeesh. Let's go ahead and uh, bring out our scroll here. Let's move back. Or these halberd wielding uh, bandits. So annoying. Oh, man. This may take a while. What is this, round four or something like that? Sometimes I hold down the block button and it doesn't work. I'll tear your head off. All right, let's go back here. Stop right there. And here's Ortega. Oh, great. Let's go get that archer. Ah! Ah! Oh! Uh, 
it back. Just run. Oh, man. Not doing too well. Let's try to lure them a bit further back. Maybe that'll work. Just you wait, boy. Okay. Back here. Stop right there. What back here? So I'll get you after all. That move there is what you would use in the alternative AI uh, mod, I believe. They call it spinning to win, I guess. That's one down. Why are you moving back? Why are you running? There we go. That's two of those annoying guys down. Progress, finally. Maybe here a little earlier than we should be. Alright, let's go back here. Might be a good idea to use a fireball scroll against this guy. Uh oh. <clears throat> Are you guys coming? There he is. Move back a little bit more. Wonder if we can lure him over here. Get back here. So I'll get you after all. Ah! 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 You got a cheap shot on us. Just want to grab that. He's got a normal bow. Healing potion, stew. Alright, let's go take out Ortega finally. So arrow here. Grab that. And So I'll get you after all. Alright, let's take him out. At you. So I'll get nice throne. Oh great, there's a Ah, not good. Actually, this is not good. Let's move back. Run. Ouch. At you. Oh, shoot. Um, back over here. I need, really need to heal. I really don't want to reload. If I have to reload, this is the end of the part. Okay, let's go ahead and eat stew. While we're fighting, that's not quite immersive. Ah. Okay, well. Crap. Alright, let's go ahead and save here. Slot 2. And when we come back for part 3, we are, of course, going to try to clear out this cave system of bandits. I'll pick up this arrow while I'm at it and save again. Either way, I will see you in part three. Thank you very much for watching. If you happen to like it, feel free to like and subscribe, I guess. So until then, goodbye.